airship is ready now to set out on a journey. Adventures await us, so let's not prowl around. From dry frozen countries to the big seas and oceans, we'll always count on the help from Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo! The Guiding Arrow. <laughs> Okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put this egg here, like that, and then look, ta-da! <laughs> you're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> but be wise, you'll last the whole journey. <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. He. Okay, here we go. It won't take off. <sighs> yeah, we've got too much stuff on board. Only bring the things that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think, that I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, We huh? can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Kino! Kino! Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that technique! Did you see how I taught you? Of course! You're amazing! <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too! Yeah! We're all flying! We're traveling far away! That's great! The key is not to get lost! You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that, too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again, or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hmm, I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible, and yet they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing, invisible rivers? Hmm. Yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, 
there is a secret spot that's hidden away where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. And that's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But... Uh... No buts allowed. Aww. You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh, who's there? Oh, Phil, you really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey! Hey, hey! What? Who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But... She didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. But where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found it! We finally found the magic black stone! <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how! Ha! <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone! Wow! But wait for me! Ha! <laughs> ha! Awesome! <laughs> hey! Um... It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and... Magnetic arrow? We, we did! did. 
<laughs> Good for you. So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much Grandpa, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moon rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. We'll steam ahead. Fly away, my nestlings. Let's do it. <laughs> Spread your wings. But never forget that we love you and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really going to miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, OK, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it. And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. I helped to solve the riddle. But I found a turtle, and she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, what about me? 